So we're going to set up our project. First we'll add some clips to the bin, either from Windows Explorer or we can also do that from Spicer. Now we're going to set up our timeline output settings to match the settings of the display we're using. In order for Clipster to correctly process the video material, the properties of both the source and the output must be known for that color processing to be done. In our example, our target display is Rec. 709 Head Range Plane Gamma 2.4. So we'll set it to that and now we'll build our timeline. This is a relatively simple timeline. We can create IMF markers in Clipster. These markers were already in my timeline, but you can right click on the timeline, add a marker, and then define those markers here. These points represent elements, temporal elements within the composition, like the first frame of action, last frame of action. So once you have your composition arranged and your, and your marker set, you can mark in and out points and create an IMF package using the delivery tool.